You're watching African Farming. I'm Batebile Murutwani, and we are coming to you from your Han Erlangs farm, situated between the Machalisberg and the Rustenburg area. Every farmer has pets on his farm, and just like any other animal, they too can get sick and infections. To help us discuss this is Dr. Tapelo Makai from Elanco. Dr. Taps, welcome. Thank you for having me. Dr. Taps, many farmers have pets on their farms. And just like they look after their livestock, it is also equally important that they look after their pets as well. Isn't this true? Very true. Now you must remember, pets, like any other animal, is part of the family. So as much as you're treating you know, your animals, you, your, your cattle, vaccinating, you also need to do the same. But you know, Tabs, you know, I can never go away without talking about you know, zoonotic diseases. Very important. Someone who doesn't know what are zoonotic diseases, Zoonotic diseases are those diseases that are passed from animals to human beings. Now, in this case, we want to talk about rabies, which for me, I think it's very important and it's very deadly. And farmers need to know about that as well. You know, I've heard about this disease called rabies. What is rabies? How dangerous is it? And what can one do should rabies uh, break out in their farm? Uh, I'm going to go back. This, I think this is my line for this time around. Prevention is better than cure. That's why we're always advocating for vaccination. Always make sure that your animals are vaccinated at least once a year for rabies. Now, rabies is essentially a viral disease which, you know, sits in the brain. And, you know, because these dogs, they go around looking mad and they want to bite everything and anything in front of it which is very dangerous. And there isn't really, you know, a treatment for it, but you know, you can actually prevent it by vaccinating your animals, vaccinating your pets against it. Can any other animals get rabies? Yes, of course. You know, normally when you come into the kraal, what happens, you know, the, the cattle will move away from you, you know, because you know, you heading them towards a certain direction. But for instance, if you walk in and you know, you see an animal actually coming towards you and really charging you, you know, then you can be really skeptical and you know, question and ask yourself what it, it could be. It could be rabies. But now what are some of the clinical signs or simple signs that you know you can see that your animals are affected, even your dog, you know, aggression, very aggressive. Uh, they don't really drink water. They, they very, they dislike drinking water. They're uncomfortable and they salivate. This one might say among And this rabies, it actually can find it in the saliva of the animals. So those are the simple clinical signs that you can pick up. And once you see that, it's very important for you to contact your state vet immediately so that they come through and to help you out. You just said something very sad now. There's no treatment for rabies. So if I have my beloved dog, whom I've had for two or three years, and now he contracts rabies, what am I gonna do with this pet? So unfortunately, it's one of those things that, you know, it spreads very fast. Uh, this pet, because now it has contracted rabies, it can, you know, pass the disease on. Unfortunately, in this case, it has to be put down because we don't want, you know, this disease spreading from animals and then eventually, you know, getting to humans. Especially if you have kids around, you know, they'll be playing with the pet. You know, that's, that's a big no-no. When it comes to vaccination for rabies, do we do it once or do we follow a program? Actually, there is a program. Essentially, when you start, dogs as puppies, you know, you try to vaccinate them, even deworming program, they go hand in hand. Uh, you try to do a deworming program, a rabies injection, and a five-in-one injection to control other diseases. After that, it's essential at least once a year that, you know, your dogs get a rabies injection going forward. And cattle and sheep and goats? No, not necessarily. You know, we hardly get, you know, uh, these animals infected with rabies per se. If they get it, they'll get it from the pets while they're chasing them and try to bite them. That's when you'll get. But essentially, not necessarily. Dr. Taps, always a pleasure. Thank you very much, brother. For more content like this, please log on to hashtag African Farming or AfricanFarming.com. And remember, we farm better together.
Get the necessary cover for you and your family in the event of unforeseen misfortune. The African Farming Protector Plan offers you comprehensive funeral cover for your entire family plus extended family at an affordable cost. Our product also offers benefits such as monthly discounts on groceries, discounted bus tickets, ambulance services, and trauma and assault assistance, to name a few. For more information on the African Farming Comprehensive Funeral Plan, SMS African Farming to 45269 and get the peace of mind you deserve.